but took a poor angle. When you play speed guys, you have to understand angles and tackling and put your head in front of the man, not behind him. Riley finds Ross, who can't pull it in. Incomplete. That was a forward pass. Second and ten. I like what Kevin Riley's doing, Bob, and, and just curious on your perspective. When you spread the ball around to different receivers, obviously you're going to have your favorite guy, but when you're going to backs and three different wide receivers, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Is that a conscious effort by quarterbacks? Oh, sure. I mean, and you, like we said a couple of plays ago, the spread two receivers to the right, three to the left. You spread them from left to right, and it, it puts them on an island. You get the ball in one of these little shifty guys like Best, and they have to come up and make a play. Riley has a man open. Boy, Botang wide open across the middle inside the Minnesota 40 for another first down. Ryan Collado downfield made the tackle. And this is what we were just talking about. Receivers split to the wide side of the field. Collado had an inside technique but didn't react on the uh, on the uh, route. That was just easy, too easy pitch and catch here. Now, Collado starting for injured Marcus Sherrill, normally a starting corner. Botang, a senior, transferred from Florida. Cal on the move again, first down, inside the 40 of the Gophers. And that's job at best in the backfield. Best trying to find a hole. And gets to the 35, picked up three. Juan Edwards for Minnesota was there. Today on ABC Saturday Afternoon Football, it's number three, USC, taking on Washington. Some parts of the country will see Nebraska, Virginia Tech, or Arizona, Iowa. Washington looks better this year. And USC coming off a hard-fought win in Columbus. We've got an outstanding quarterback in Jake Locker that's a dual threat that could present some problems for that talented USC defense. Better runner than Terrell Pryor. That's what some of the USC players were saying when they watched tape. I don't know about that one. As best gets taken down at the 30-yard line, down about five. Nate Triplett, who had 17 stops last week against Air Force, made the tackle there. Got five tackles in this one. The Cal offensive line is doing a good job of creating space and changing the line of scrimmage. Anytime a running back can go through the hole and not get touched by a defender for three yards past the line of scrimmage. You gotta get off blocks. You're the front seven, you're the strength of the defense, get off your block. Look at what they've done on the ground in the last five games. Going back to the end of 2008. Pretty good on third down today. They've had a lot of third down in short situations. They'll run Vereen on third and three, and he splatters the pile and appears to have another first down. It helps when you're in third down and short and when you can run it the way Cal can. You run the power road, Matt Summers Gavin, number 75, is going to pull around. See big 75? Now watch him like a running back, and he keeps his feet chopping and chopping and chopping, working to help his teammate get the extra yards. But it's nice when you have a big lineman running like a running back through a hole, Bob. Cal is impressive. You know, they can, they can do the power game, as we just saw. If it's third and short and they need to run it up there, or we can spread them out like they are right here. Three receivers to the left and one to the top of the screen. Almost twice as many running plays called at, by Cal so far. Riley looks middle over through best that time. Kevin Riley has changed his throwing motion. Yeah, I put a little, oh, I'm sorry, David. I just put a little mark there to let people know where job at best is because when he split out, that's where they're going. Then play of the drive coming up. We're talking about Riley changing his throwing motion. You can definitely see a difference this year. Saw it on that long pass play in the first quarter. Completing 65% of his passes. Where last year he was barely over 50% in nine starts. Best with a huge running lane. Goodbye. Third touchdown for Javon Best in the first half. That's my boy. Yeah. Boy, when he gets to the second level, it's no contest. 
Good block there by Holly, the fullback. And just good running by a, by a quality running back who uh, is just going to get better and better. He's a true junior. And uh, he's just going to get better as the year goes on. Third touchdown of the day for Javid Best. And Javid's mom coming all the way from California to Minneapolis, loving what she's seeing so far.